Okay, this tutorial is going to show you dead quickly how to create a CSS file and then link it to your web page. Okay, now if we just take a look at what I've got so far, I've just created a dead basic website. There's hardly anything on it yet, it's not very really good, okay, but it's just for this tutorial. So it's my little car garage, as I said, it's rubbish and it's got four pages home, as you can see news, yep, gallery, and contact. And what we want to do in now is we want to create a CSS file, a cascading style sheet file, which will enable us to alter color schemes, fonts, etc. in one file. So the first thing we need to do to create this CSS file is go to File, New, and then we need to go to where it says CSS. Okay, by default yours will be on HTML. You need to scroll down with the arrow cursor and then click on CSS and it says cascading style sheet there and then click create. Now this is your CSS document now and the first thing you must do is go file, save, make sure you're in your website folder. I am, okay, you might not be. So you may need to go to your area, find your website folder, put it in the same folder as where your other pages are. And what we need to call this is style.css. It should put the CSS in for you, but you, you, you might as well just put it in there just to make sure. And then click save. Okay. Now what this CSS document will do, it will control how your web pages look. But at the moment, it is not linked to your other pages. So we need to link this style.css file to all of your website pages. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to link this to my home page first of all. Okay. Now, you notice I just closed that window then. By default, this window here, CSS, will be closed like this. If you click on it, it will expand, it will go bigger, it will drop down. Okay. And we need to go to where it says attach style sheet. If I hover over it, it looks like a little link. It says attach style sheet. So I click on that and it's asking me to find the style sheet. So I click browse and there's that file we made, style.css. This navbar one is if, if you've got a drop down menu. Some of you may have this, some of you won't have this. Okay. So the style is there. I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to click OK. Okay, now that is now linked. Now the way we can double check this is linked is if we go into the code view or split view, it's up to you, whatever is easiest for you. Go to code and we notice now that approximately line 7, okay, some may be different, it may be on line 6 for some of you, maybe on line 5, whatever. We can see here that it has placed it in the code for us. It's saying link the file called style.css. And it's just saying that it's a style sheet and the type of it is a CSS document. Okay. Now we also need to add that line into the code. Because if I, I've just gone to the news page now, I go into the code, that line isn't there. Can we see that? It's not there. Look, if we go back to the HTML, sorry, the index HTML, that line is there. So what we're best easy to do, rather than going and attaching again, we can just highlight this. Copy, Command C, or if that's not working properly, right click, copy, and then go to your other pages, go to the code view, drop down a line, make sure it's within this where it says head, make sure it's before that, do not put it here, that will not work, yep. make sure it is in the head section, you can see the head section is there, and it ends there, Okay, so it has to be in there. Save as I go along, go to gallery, code, again it's not here, so we just need to paste, and V, save, and finally for contact, go to code, Oop. and paste, save. Okay. So now our style sheet is linked to all of the pages. Okay. Now we've not said what this style sheet is going to make it look like yet and I'm going to come to that in the next tutorial. Okay, So have a go at just linking that style sheet up. Create the style sheet, file new, 
and then use the link like I've just done and add it to all of your pages. I'll then show you in the next tutorial what we then do with this. Okay, have a go at that.